Are you one of those people that has upper shoulder pains or across your shoulder blade or you can't turn your neck fully and you've tried everything, lotions, potions, rubs, crystals, touching care, seahorses, they tried everything and it's still, still unexplained. Well, guess what? We think we can help you today. We know we can help you today. So today we're looking to work with people that are have aches and like long-term chronic aches and pains anywhere in their body. Let John and I know. We want to teach and show you today that we, on your behalf, can delete what's causing that problem. And during the live show today, our goal is you would feel a significant difference. Hello, everybody. My name is Michael Loja. I'm a certified emotion code practitioner. I am live here every Saturday on the Emotion Code Bro Show. Today, episode 202. That's right, Captain Obvious. We've been here 202 Saturdays, and I'm with him. Good morning, John. Good morning. Yes, my name is John Inverarity, certified emotion code, body code practitioner, and helping people all over the world with various aches, pains, mental health concerns, and uh, improved quality of life. And uh, yeah, hey, if you're watching live, say hello. And uh, we'd love to see who's joining us today. Yes. And uh, if you're curious about the Emotion Code today, we're going to talk a little bit about the process and how it works. And our goal is to uh, do a demo. We call it a demo. We're not just doing a demo like we're doing a healing, if you want to use that word. So, again, let us know in the chat where is the pain that you're having right now. And on a scale of 0 to 10, 10 being I can't move my neck. And uh, you will be giving us permission. John and I would hope to work with two people today. If you've been part of the last 201 episodes and we changed your life with an emotion code session, let us know in the chat. Let us know what we worked on, what we helped you with. Because remember, we've got new people watching today and thinking, what are they doing? What we're doing is deleting these little buggers, and these are old or current unprocessed emotions. We're going to explain that a little uh, uh, shortly. So, uh, good morning, John. Can you imagine 202 episodes? Yeah, I, I can. Absolutely. I yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's we've been doing this what four years now? Yeah. Yeah, fifty-two weeks in a year. Uh, okay, let's yeah. say one of our friends this morning. We have uh, from England our friend Natasha Paula Samuel. She's probably been to all two hundred and two I know she's been to all two hundred and two episodes. Uh oh, we're getting a big all caps this morning. Someone's excited in Seattle. Good morning, Jennifer Towner. Yeah. Just, yeah, she says just kidding. Yeah. Uh, 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 Asish Kumar, hello, sir. Two sirs, thank you. Hello. Uh, joining us. Uh, let's see. Natasha's giving us our good old hashtag, Emotion Code Bros. Elaine Goldman. Boy, Elaine was probably one of our first viewers early, two, maybe three years ago. And uh, I remember what we helped her delete, but she'll let us know if she wants to share that. Elaine, give us a little pop-up. What did we help you delete when, and what's the severity of the interest now? Yeah. Sig Brown's here. Hey, welcome back. Sig's been a little while. It says, interestingly, I have a killer stomach ache since last night. We had a potluck, and something I ate is bothering me. Mm. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we, uh, are we do we're doing stomach and digestive today, aren't we? Are we doing that? Yeah, we're doing it all. There you go. Now, I'm not sure that that's emotion related. It could be food related, but you know, maybe that's something we can find out. So we're going to put you in the queue there, Sig. So good morning for joining us. Good morning. Well, yeah. well, well, look who's off for three month holiday. Sylvia Bellini from the UK, from sunny London. Glad to see you back. Okay, here's our friend Elaine Goldman. Hashtag Elaine Diet Coke. So, <laughs> She joined the show one day. John and I were doing a show on food deletion. She raised her hand early on, maybe one of the first five or six shows we did. And uh, yeah. we, we deleted her interest. These emotions that were causing her to want and crave, whatever it was, Diet Coke. So she's our hashtag Elaine Diet Coke. Uh, so, John, let's do a shout out to Dr. Bradley Nelson. Go ahead. I got the book right here. So this is the Emotion Code book. Go out and grab it if you don't have it before. This is a new updated uh, version forward by Tony Robbins. 
And so, yeah, Dr. Brad, he developed the technique, the emotion code. He wrote the book. There's a seminar and it's a certification protocol and we are certified practitioners. So we took the training. We know how to do it. And we work with people all over the world on various, you know, a, yeah, we act as a proxy. On, on, on today, today's show brought to you by the world. Yeah. Oh. Proxy. Right. Yeah. So yeah, that's one of the key steps is proxy. So we you, we use muscle testing. We communicate with your subconscious mind to find the trapped emotion, which is an imbalance in your body, preventing healing. You know, creating aches, pains, mental health concerns. And after we find the trapped emotion, we, so we're muscle testing through the chart, find the trapped emotion. We we release it, and clear it out, or delete it, and we use a magnet over a governing meridian. So your subconscious knows what the trapped emotion is. We don't need to guess what it is. We use muscle testing to communicate to your sub, through your subconscious mind to your subconscious mind to find it and clear it. And it works really, really fast. It's effective, efficient a lot of the time. And yeah, like I said, the magnet. Yeah, that's uh, the emotion code process in a nutshell. And um, yeah, again, we're looking for a couple of volunteers. Um, you know, in the banner, stomach digestive challenges, that's... Ideally, that's what we'd be working with today. But if we don't have anyone with like a long term, you know, chronic uh, digestive concerns, we can do like an ache and pain somewhere yeah. uh, because that's how we open the show. Yeah. Yes. I, have, I know. And this, I mean, the sign was in front of me. Uh, really? Yeah. Right. So I'm going to work on sick because I think it's going to be a quick fix, even though she's in severe, what did she call it? A killer stomach ache since last night. So, right, yeah. yeah. So why don't I check that out? Killer stomach ache, zero to 10. I'm going to say like it's an eight, nine, or 10. My goal is that you'll feel a significant reduction if it is indeed emotion related. Now, that'll be one of the questions. You see, I'm going to ask Sig's subconscious mind that knows everything. It's brilliant. And it even knows what's causing the stomach pain, but it can't tell us, it being her subconscious mind. Mm -hmm. But because I'm muscle testing on her behalf, the proxy, I can get the answer, John. What is the key to finding the answer? The question, which is what? So the question has to be phrased uh, in that it'll be a yes or no response. So instead of like, you know, what's causing your stomach ache, you'd say, you know, is there a trap emotion causing your stomach ache? Yes, there is, or no, there isn't. Yeah. Uh, is it in column A or in column B? So the emotion code uh, chart has, you know, two columns, six rows. They're all numbered, lettered there. And so, yeah, that's the uh, that's the type of question you'd ask. Okay, good stuff. So uh, I'm using muscle testing right now. If you are interested in muscle testing, uh, I have a free course, an online course with a worksheet. It's uh, michaelloge.com. Oh, I'm just going to see if I have a screenshot of it. Uh, michaelloge.com forward slash muscle testing. Uh, maybe Sylvie Bellini can do that for me. michaelloge.com forward slash muscle testing. There's different styles, and this is my stock called the drawbridge, this finger being the drawbridge. So my intention is to bust through it. If it's a, if the answer is no, let this go. If it's a yes, just keep it locked. So am I Michael? Yes. So I'm just connecting. It's like my Wi-Fi is looking for SIG's Wi-Fi, so I'm just doing that right now. I have SIG Brown's permission. She's here. I can see her. She's giving me permission. There we go. Am I Sig Brown? Am I Sig Smith? No. Am I Michael Brown? Am I Michael Loge? Am I Sig Brown? You know, I was telling Michael, I'm going to use her voice. I was telling Michael about the severity of this upset stomach or this painful stomach. Is it 8, 9, 10? Okay, that's pretty severe. Now, here's the real question. What is the percentage that this pain is caused by emotions? Over 10, 20, these are yeses. Is it over 50, 60, 70, 80, 90? Is it over 90? Is it over 99? Is it over 100? No. Is it under 100? No. What is it, Captain Obvious? 100. So, again, six subconscious mind, I can ask yes or no questions. I found out that 100% of that is emotions. And how many emotions is it? Seven, eight, nine, there's 10 of them. There's give or take 10 of them. Okay, I just identified them and I'm looking at them right now and I'm going to delete them. I'm deleting them one at a time by looking at them. There we go. Now, do I have any trapped emotions? No. Do I have any trauma? Yes. How many? One. 
Okay, I found it. Is it mine? Yes, yeah, trauma A, five, five. You know, before today's session, what was the severity of this painful stomach that I had? Was it eight, nine, 10? And now it's 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. It started with four. Is it more emotions? Yes. Are these mine? No. Oh, did I get them from my mom or my dad? They're absorbed. So I absorbed these from a person? Yes. How many? Five, four, three, two, one of them. A. Okay. It is the absorbed emotion of fear. Is this the Ooh. absorbed emotion of fear? Yes. How many swipes? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. Oh, it's a thick one. So I'm deleting this absorbed fear. Deleting absorbed fear. Remember, I have a magnet, and I don't want to take the energy on. The magnet and the intention will delete it. I'm still deleting this absorbed fear. So, Sig, you should stay hydrated today. Take a glass of water. And uh, She's having a party. Yeah, having a party. And you can let us know shortly about... Um, Did you see her comment? No. Okay. That's why I said that. She's having a party today. Oh, really? A little bit of fear, she said. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. God. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. I said, Happy birthday. She doesn't feel well. She's not having a party. <laughs> I guess if she's... Okay. Now, what is the severity of this painful stomach? It was 8, 9, 10. Is it 10? Look at the nose. Is it 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1? Is it zero? Yes. Is it over zero? No. Okay, I'm just going to disconnect from Sig Brown. Hmm. Hey, listen, if you're an emotion code practitioner, I know that you know that I know that you can't believe that I identified and found and deleted 10 trapped emotions in one minute. Hey, if you, want to look, if you want to know how I did that, let me know in the chat, and I'll send you the link to the process uh, to help you do that. It's called 100 times faster. Oh, what does it do? Captain Obvious, 100 times faster. Okay, we are going to hear from Sig Brown. John, tell me who is saying what, please. So, yeah, Lori Mayo is here, says hi from Las Vegas. Lori, Las Vegas. Yeah. Good morning. Elaine Goldman is saying it's, it was episode number 11, July 29th, 2017, No More Diet Coke. How loyal is that? Mm -hmm. This is a lot of Diet Coke money. Our friend PP, Permelia Param. Hi, Permelia. Sunny Park. Sunny Park. It's on the island here on Vancouver Island. Uh, our friend Sylvia put the link for the muscle testing class. Uh, it's a video. It comes with a worksheet and it will take practice. So watch it, do it with me online, watch how I do it, follow along, practice. Uh, you know, so, cause John, as you know, some people get the emotion code book and they're going along and then the next chapter said, now muscle test. It's like, what? And then some people stop, they stop learning, right? Cause they can't get it. So if you're considering to do emotion code or learn it or read the book, learn how to muscle test first and that'll really raise your confidence in what to do. It's the first thing to shut people down learning the emotion code. It is. People do struggle with it. Hey, Sig Brown update. Listen to this. Not only gone, but I feel much more relaxed. Works so fast. Yeah. Well, I work so fast. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Look at that. So if you just joined us or just to give an update, Sig had a severe painful stomach. It was a 10. And in hindsight, she knew she had some fear about having a party, and but it wasn't her fear. She had absorbed somebody else's fear, which is in my cartoon head, it's more severe than your own. It's thick and it's dense. And, and sometimes you might know that you've absorbed an emotion. John, can you spend a, a minute and tell us about absorbed emotions? Yeah, so I like to use the analogy of like two sponges. So one sponge is wet and one's dry and you'd be the dry one. So the, the, the wet sponge would be that other person and their fear. And then you're around them and they squeeze the wet sponge and then you get, you know, wet and that's the fear going into you. And now, sir, you both have that fear that something that isn't yours, wasn't yours to begin with, is now yours to deal with. And, you know, it can lodge anywhere in the body. And, you know, for SIG, landed in, you know, your gut somewhere, stomach, and it was fear and stomach pain now. Yes. If you're an emotion code practitioner, I highly recommend that you include 
your search, right, John? It's just anything that you're working on. It's just a quick little question. Do I have any absorbed emotions? And my practice changed uh, quite significantly when I started to ask the question, right? Some, some of you practitioners, like all of us starting, you know, we get good results, you know. We get it down to a three or a four when they could hardly move their neck, and everyone's happy with that. Well, hashtag not me, you know. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm a fighter. This is my answer. The goal is zero. Not zero. We're going to stick with it till it is. Yeah. Okay. Good stuff, John. John, is there anybody else that's reaching out? Uh, Baby people? Angels is here. Says hi. Uh, Cheryl C. Jones says, please forward link to 100 times faster. Hey, and the link is, I think, we'll I get the link in there. But yeah, I think Sylvia put the link in. No, that uh, 100 times. No, she's the, the muscle testing. I just put the link in for that 100 times faster, and there's a 22% off coupon, so make sure you see that before you purchase it. And I promise you, Cheryl, you will be able to do a full heart wall, even if it has 30 and 40 emotions, in maybe 10 minutes, like full heart wall in 10 minutes, instead of four or five 20 minute sessions. And you're gonna love me to Reese's Pieces when you're done the course. Brilliant. Uh, uh, okay. Sandra's putting the link, another link in there, but yeah, okay, we got that settled. Thanks, Sandra. Uh, well, Thanks, Sandra. Sandra. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Sandra. I just want to quickly show I have my Law of Attraction book club coming up. I'm calling it a study group now. This one starts July 10th, 10, 10, 10 a.m. Pacific. It runs for five weeks. Uh, the address for that Law of Attraction study group just went on the right hand side. If you want to change your life in July, hang out with me and I will teach you how to master the law of attraction so much so that you'll be able to duplicate the formula for this area and this area and this area. So we would love to, I would love to have you join that group. Uh, also, I am doing some great law of attraction things on uh, Clubhouse. The link to my Clubhouse account went on the right hand side. Now John, Clubhouse, like what does that even mean? You're a little bit too young, but there was a time when I did everything on teleclasses. You know, you'd get on a bridge line. I mean, I started my career. That's how I grew a law of attraction audience. We, I was renting bridge lines, in that name called a bridge line, and like 300 people would get on it and everybody would be on mute. You know what Clubhouse is? It's a teleclass on an app. It's the same thing. So I developed my whole career learning how to teach over the telephone. You mm -hmm. know, how do you get people engaged? How do you get them to write things down? So I joined uh, Clubhouse and you know, I'm not one to brag. Okay, maybe just a little bit. They love me to Reese's Pieces there. Love me to Reese's Pieces. Uh, okay, that's what I'm meaning to do. So, uh, and uh, I'm going to put John's um, link up on the screen here. John, somebody's watching today thinking, you know what, I've... I've got some stomach stuff. I saw Michael do it. I want to have a one-on-one -on -one private emotion code session. Can you tell our friends that are just thinking, what are these two doing, what the process and what it is like to book an appointment? Go ahead, please. Right. So we both have websites and online scheduling. So I'm at aliveandfear.com. Michael's at michaelosier.com. And so you can get to our websites, go to the online scheduling, click the button to book a session. The calendar will pop up, set your time zone, pick a time and a date. And that's it, simple as that. Uh, we can send you a Zoom link, we do a video like this, or some people prefer phone calls and can call us. And we also do remote, uh, like an email type session where we'll just work on you remotely and just let you know when the session is done. Like that works well for pets, kids that, you know, can't get to a computer or, you know, that are just won't sit in front of the computer on the phone. Yeah. Give us more clients that I have that are in their cars, like they go out on their drive, they'll go out and sit in their car to have an appointment with me. Right. Especially moms that have kids at home right now. Yeah. So, oh, this is my space by myself. But sometimes, John, you know, when you call a restaurant, you want to place an order, you don't know what you want they have to, to order. So John and I both have convenient little planners or I call mine a menu, John's a planner, the same thing. Yes, it will inspire some things because you don't. You think we're just the stomach guys? <laughs> we do lots of things. It could be physical, mental challenges, beliefs that you're having. So check out our planner. Uh, book a multi a multi session package. In other words, more than one appointment. 
we want to care for you in the first one and follow up on the second one and then uh, work on some new things. So that's pretty exciting. Simple as that. Good stuff. So some of you might be thinking, you know, somebody that had stomach pain, you know, uh, and you're thinking, I don't know if they'd be into this. Well, here's my opinion about that. Don't decide for them. You know, that's what people do. Oh, my friend wouldn't like that. Don't decide for your friend. Your friend's got a, a, a sore stomach. Your friend would drink sea monkeys if they thought it would help. So let Sean and I help you with the remote emotion code session. Hey, if you're watching right now, you've got any questions for us, let us know. Uh, all of our friends listening on the podcast, thank you again for, um, uh, yeah, for listening, I guess. Hope my hunch is you're getting some good value. We're also live on YouTube. We have a blog entry and um, here live on Facebook every Saturday. So we have two, how many more episodes on the stomach? Uh, I think two more for the whole month of June. Yeah, two more, ideally. So John, what if somebody knows somebody? How can they make that work for them in the future? You can send them a video. I uh, just send them like a YouTube link. They can watch the video, see the demonstration, basically you know, any any YouTube video that we've done, or you can you know tag them in the comments, anything like that. Or and bring them next week. You know, plan on it. Say, listen, I'm going to you know help promote the show to your friend and say, hey, I want you to know about this. Yeah, we're looking for volunteers every week. Yeah. Two volunteers every week. Okay, let John let's check to see. Uh, Okay, I think we found a... There we go, Betty Angels. Uh, constipation, a lot of gas and inflammation. So, yeah, I'll work with Betty right now. So, I'm just gonna uh, have a little bit of water. Yeah. Water is like the fuel for a practitioner. It helps um, with the conductivity, if we can use that word. Well, I just did. So, yeah. uh, my muscle testing here. I'll just uh, set the intention to connect up Betty, 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 Betty Angels, get a good connection, proxy, 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 so I do have a good connection, connect as a proxy, okay, good, so I do have a magnet here, ready to go, uh, and my chart is just right here, so I'll just check in here, Betty, so is there a trapped emotion associated with or creating this constipation, gas inflammation, these concerns. I'll just say these concerns going forward. Is there trapped emotion associated with creating these concerns here? Yeah. Okay, what's the severity of these concerns? Is it five? Is it, I've got an eight out of 10. All right, so there's a trapped emotion that we can identify, correct release to reduce and eliminate these concerns, allow your body to heal. Yeah. Okay, so is there trapped emotion column A, column A? No. With B4 or six, so we're into B4. We have indecisiveness. Yeah, indecisiveness, need to know more about indecisiveness. No. Okay, releasing indecisiveness. Again, that's my magnet. Release indecisiveness. That's release. Yeah. Is there another trapped emotion associated with creating these concerns? A odd or even? A three, a five. So I'm asking questions in my head and sometimes answering them, sometimes not out loud. So it might be yeah. hard to follow, but that's what I'm doing. Uh, there's sadness. Yeah, sadness, clear sadness. So remember, John can only ask yes or no questions. And what he just said right now, he's asking some without saying them out loud because it's faster, right? We yeah. say them out loud for the audience, but I can get, that's how I found the emotions really fast because yeah. I didn't talk out loud but i was thinking them in the finger directed but when you have to say it out loud it's extra work so he's finding them he's getting to answers faster by not sharing every question yeah we'll slow it down here so is there a trapped emotion associated with these concerns yes there is is it in column a no is it in column b yes odd row no so even row yes two four six so it is in b6 is it pride Yes. Okay, I'm gonna double check. Is it shame, shock, unworthy, worthless? No, no, no. no. Yeah, so it is pride. Yeah. Do we need to know more? No. We can clear that. Release pride. That is cleared. Yes. Yeah, still there. No. Is there shame or shock? No. So is there another trapped emotion associated with these concerns here, Betty? 
Is there, uh, is there another trapped emotion? There's not. Is there an absorbed trapped emotion? No, shared. Is there a shared trapped emotion? Yeah, so shared is another type of trapped emotion like to check for. So what that means is that you and someone else, same time, same place, trap the same emotion. How many, how many swipes do you ask? How many swipes or are you just doing a scan? No, I, I never ask how many swipes, no. Okay. Um, two. So it's in B2? Hopeless? So it's hopeless. Clear hopeless. So you and someone else, we don't even need to know who. Yeah. Uh, yeah, clear hopeless, that's cleared. Yeah. Is there another shared emotion? No. There's also inherited. Is there an inherited trapped emotion? No. Prenatal, in the, that means in the womb. No. Preconception, which means a time before you're conceived, somewhere out there in the background. No. <laughs> Check off list. So, John, yeah. really thorough here. Yeah. Is there uh, another balance? Is there something else? Another trapped emotion? Just a regular common trap emotion associated with these concerns. No. Okay, so how about just the inflammation, bloating gas, constipation? No. Severity three or higher? No. One or higher? My okay. hope is you're going to be able to give us a reduction. So the mm -hmm. goal is re uh, elimination, pardon the pun, but uh, a goal for working this quickly during a live call without asking lots of questions. Uh, the goal would be to significantly reduce it. So, Betty Angels, let me know. Yeah, that's quick. And that's not like the body code either. So, you did a thorough job with that. So, we'll be getting yeah. it. Hey, our friend Margaret from beautiful Ireland is with us. Welcome, Margaret. Huh? It's been a while. It has been a while. Maybe summer. I think, uh, you know, I think summer is kind of, you know, Rightfully so. People, maybe some countries are having, you know, we're just starting to get into restaurants here, so people are wanting to go out. But okay, John, here's a question, Sandra, for you, for Sandra. Question: When you ask, do I need to know more? Where does your inquiry go from there? And do you have to ask how many swipes? So, do you need to know more? That is usually a no, but if it was a yes, you can get the age. So, okay, so it's indecisiveness age 15 right then you okay do you need to know more and then if you get like if you get a yes again which is really really rare it's so rare i've never been asked like i always start with you taught me that just start with the age and i think the subconscious mind wants to make sure that we're on the same page. yes that when you were 15 or 18 yeah but never been a time i wouldn't want to ask for a subsequent question you could ask categories like was it um like financial related or you can ask is it like physical yeah, related yeah is it career related is it relationship related and i don't think i've ever needed to go beyond that yeah. um i mean you can get into specific people as well like mom dad brother sister something like that or your child and it might just come to you as well with your intuition yeah and you're in the session and then how many swipes Three is kind of like just a standard, but sometimes, you know, you just do a little bit more until you get kind of like that feeling that it's that it's cleared yeah. out. And sometimes in sessions, I like yawn too. So kind of like when that yawn's done, then I'll stop. <laughs> yeah, I, I stop count, counting swipes because it's like, you know, it's it, I just I just wave. I just keep waving. Right? Yeah. I want to catch it that way. John, we had a good show today. We helped two people. We're going to hear other oh, scent. No, we're going to hear from Betty. Hopefully. She'll give us an update. Uh, if not, Betty, uh, do let us know for next week. Yeah, come back next week. Yeah. I'd love to hear from you. This is kind of, you know, there's it can take some time, right? And obviously, it's just a quick little demo session. So, uh, if you want help with that and book a session, you know where to find us. That's right. You know, the purpose of the show is to introduce you to the emotion code, so you can know there's an alternative way for you to feel better and think better and have a quiet, all of everything from anxiousness to neck pain, and that we have a walk-in clinic, except you don't have to walk anywhere, except to your phone. It's probably on your lap right now. Yes. And John is at, again, I want to put uh, his link up on the right-hand side. John's at aliveandpure.com, and uh, I am Captain Obvious. No, I'm not. I am michaelloge.com. There you go. Or removetrappedemotions.com if you can't spell loge.
Okay, John, uh, again, uh, you might know somebody that you want to introduce to us so we can serve them. You can trust us to do a good job with that. So maybe you can bring them back next week or forward them this video and say, you got to check out these two. Like, we love Doris's pieces, and we want you to, too. So, John, thanks for hanging out again today. We'll see you next Saturday, uh, 9 a.m. Uh, Pacific, 12 noon Eastern, here on the Emotion Code Bros Show. See you later, everybody. Have a good week, everyone.